In this video, I'll be showing you my system. This is going to take a little while, but I'll list off all the software I've got installed on here, and I'll take a quick look at the hardware as well. So to start with, just show you the parts you don't normally see. Yep, this is my desk. This is where all the magic happens. That's my recent purchase, a new chunky microphone. Monitor there, 22 inch widescreen, uh, 16 by 9 widescreen, does 1080. And that's what I'm recording at. Most important to actually get a video at HD 1080. A uh, folder there on the bed with tucks on it. That used to be all my install guide I used to throw in there, but now it's uh, pretty much my password lists. And look at the case. Well, slightly co close look. The room's a bit small here, so I couldn't quite stand back enough. <laughs> but hey, it's close enough, eh? Oh, on my desk there, I've got my HTC One S Android phone. Mouse map there has got uh, packet information, packet header information, and an ASCII table. Hey, network security analyst here. I need to keep my tools close by. Now I'll take a look at the hardware. So look up the system monitor. So yep, I'm using Ubuntu 12.04. What's 12.04.1? 64 bit uh, kernel. Well, uplifted to 3.7. Uh, I need to update that some more. I've got 16 gig of RAM on here, and yet people do ask me why I've got that much. Can't possibly use that much in Linux. Uh, yeah, I do actually. Uh, running a couple of virtual machines and doing a bit of screencasting and even HD video editing, it certainly eats up all that memory. You can see the CPU there, uh, AMD Phenom X6-1100T, that's a 3.3 GHz 6-core processor. Uh, resources here, um, yeah, <laughs> running along at uh, what, half in use, all, all the cores. Anyway, the file system. My root folder is mounted on a 256 gig solid state disk, and I think that was the OCZ Vertex 4. I've got a 2 terabyte drive for other documents and things I don't need on a speedy basis. And that last drive there is uh, my temp drive, that's a 60 gig solid state disk. I kind of had it lying around and thought it would be useful just to use as that. On some of the screencasting it can use the temp folder up quite nicely. Uh, right, look at the shortcuts I've got in my Unity bar. So these are my favourite applications. First two there, well, web browsers. I predominantly use Firefox, but then again on my Android phone, I predominantly use uh, Android. Uh, predominantly use Chrome. So I kind of mix and match a bit there. VirtualBox. I do quite a lot in VirtualBox. You can see a lot of the distro reviews I actually use in VirtualBox. Uh, Windows Seven. That is the only. <laughs> install of Windows 7 on my PC. I single boot Ubuntu and haven't dual booted for a very long time. And yet just a few other distros that I've been testing out. Uh, so once they're done I just go and delete them off and uh, recreate new ones every time. Video editing, I'm doing Caden Live. I'll just open that up quickly. So i change it a little bit here. So I've got a wider screen for the video and uh, I use five video tracks and three audios because I do a lot of cutting on the videos. Try and make it a bit more streamlined and uh, to the point for YouTube. XBMC, um, don't really use that much upstairs, but uh, I use it mostly on my downstairs system. I've got a XBMC media player. Use it up here just for getting the files named correctly, save me running up and down the stairs all the time. Ubuntu One, yep, got a lot of documents in stored on there. Deluge BitTorrent client, that's my preferred BitTorrent client, and Deluge is actually running on my Raspberry Pi, so I just use that to take a look how it's doing. This one I get asked about a lot, why have I got an icon for PlayStation Network on my Unity bar? Well, it's to launch this. <laughs> oh, just closed anyway, um, but anyway, it's to connect my PS3 controller via Bluetooth, so it pops in my root password and gets the Bluetooth connection going. Makes life a bit easier. <clears throat> that one there is just a drawer for all the games. and uh, Drawers is just something I installed, a third party add-on. Very useful there. So the applications I've got open at the moment, that's GVC View. And that's my webcam viewer where I'm sat here presenting. I prefer that over Cheese. I find it works a bit better. And Tibesti for the screencaster. Although the first half of the video is Tibesti, the second half is Kazam. So I've already recorded the second half. I sometimes do that, just to confuse everyone. <laughs> but it looks fine on the editing. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the applications I have. 
let's use these filters. So under accessibility, nothing more than what the distro comes with. Customization, ooh, quite a few things. Compiz config, I get asked to do some tutorials on that. Unfortunately, it comes with a health and safety warning now in Ubuntu, so I'm kind of reluctant on that part to do a tutorial. GUFW firewall configuration, got a video on that one. Gparted, yeah, useful occasionally, but I prefer the live distro version. Grub customizer, got a really old video on that one. My Unity, deprecated now and I'm not going to use it again. I prefer Ubuntu Tweak. NVIDIA server settings, yeah, I've got an NVIDIA graphics card in here. Oh, open box configuration manager, you have to have open box as an alternate desktop. Synaptic package manager, always a favorite of mine for maintenance of the applications you've got on your system. You can see I've got some custom icons for the Ubuntu Software Center and the Update Manager. Uh, they came out a little while back, they're the new icons for Ubuntu 13.04 and I just went and changed the icon set. Again, videos on that. Under Education, oh, only the one here, Space Chem, I've never even used it though, got it as part of the Humble Bundle package. Games, oh, I bet there's going to be quite a few here that are under Humble Bundle. In fact, yeah, let's see. Atomic Worm, no longer works. Block Attack, that's in the Software Center, a bit of a laugh every now and again. Cave Story, part of the Humble Bundle. Played the first couple of levels, got stuck on it, never gone back. Some of these games, I can't even remember what they are now. Oh, DOSBox emulator, occasionally like that for a couple of the old DOS games I've still got on my, still got on my system. Euphoria, that was a good game but never played it again after completing it. Gens, Mega Drive emulator. Katawa Shujo, that's quite an interesting story game. But I've only played it once through and tried again and never gone back to it. Nicky and the Robots, doesn't work. Open Lyrio X, <laughs> that's something I was trying to get going. <laughs> trying to relive the past there with uh, Lyrio. Osmos, got that through the Humble Bundle. Pang Zero, Secret Mario Chronicles, through the Software Center. SNES 9X, Super Nintendo emulator. You can get it by adding a repository. A couple more from the Humble Bundle. Good old Steam Client, not used that again for a while. Super Tux Cart, oh, one of my favorite games. Love that one. Never played that one. Got a couple more from the Humble Bundle and a couple of open source ones. I quite like Zonatic. Right, that was probably the biggest part to go through. Anyway, under internet, what do we have over and above that would be normal? Right, booster. That is supposed to be able to replicate your system installation to make it uh, easier to reinstall, but I've never had much luck with it yet. Deluge, my favorite torrent client, and you'll notice here I've got rid of, um, I forgot what it's called there. Gmail checker is just a little launcher icon. Nothing special there. Composer, because I do write a few HTML pages every now and again. Mumble for the voice chat. Skype, got to use it at the moment. Steam, yeah, we've seen. And ZenMap. <laughs> Good program to try and find out what ports you have open on your computers across your network. And the Office, you'll notice I've got the full suite of LibreOffice. System, some of these you might have seen already. Uh, create Launcher. That's a very good program. Done a video on that. DVD disaster. Uh, can't remember what that is. It, Fragment image viewer, complete waste of time. Lucky backup. That's a very good program for synchronizing data, say between a USB stick and your computer and your home folder. Nepomuk gets installed as part of Caden Live. And Wireshark, monitor what's coming in and out of your network card. X sensors. Let's just open that one up. It's useful to know what your fan speed is doing and your temperatures are. I like the minus 128 though. Yeah. Accessories. Uh, there's a few additions here. Convert all. Occasionally useful. Drawers. That's drawers for the Unity bar. I've shown you that one. Fragment image viewer. Complete waste of time. GTK hash. Useful for getting hash sums from ISO files. Qt 6A for connecting the PS3 controller. Developer, just got Composer there. Fonts, nothing. Under Graphics, I've added G Color 2, Color Picker or Color Chooser, and also got GIMP and Inkscape. So GIMP for image manipulation and Inkscape for graphics editing. Under Media, ooh, a few extras added here. Mainly the screencasters. Voco Share screencaster, never really worked for me. 
Audacity, Clementine, that's my favourite media player. Oh, I can't even remember why I got that one. Easy Tag, very good programme for editing the tags on uh, FLAX and MP3 audio files. Gamecaster, for recording games. GNOME Subtitles, did that for the Indian video. That I've spoken about. Handbrake, yeah, just good for transcoding files. A Kazam, that's another screencaster. Caden Live, I've spoken about. Pulse Audio Volume Control, that's the way I've been able to choose a sound source. Another screencaster. Sound Converter, does what it says. Tibesti, yet another screencaster. VLC Media Player, and XBMC Media Player. So that was a look at all the software I'm using on my system, and a quick look at some of the hardware as well. So if anyone's got any questions about any of these applications, if you want me to do a tutorial about uh, anything there, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. But thanks for watching, see you all later.